I'm Vanessa Canby and in this video I'm going to discuss me and my family's weekend trip to a brewery. And if you don't know anything about my channel, I predominantly make videos about Ghana. So please do hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so that you're notified every time I make an upload. So it was my family's first ever holiday as a whole family to Ghana in December. I have two kids, I've got a four year old and a seven year old and my husband as well. And so I decided that our first destination when we arrived into Ghana would be a brie. And that is for a couple of reasons. One being that the climate is cooler because it's up in the mountains and we were coming straight from snow here in Scotland. So I kind of wanted my kids to have a bit of a soft landing into the climate. Um, another reason is because I heard there's less mosquitoes up there and I, again I wanted my kids to just kind of ease themselves into it. By the way they managed to not even get one mosquito bite in their whole time there. I'll cover that in another video. Um, and then the third reason is because if you've been following my channel for a while you will have seen that I've been looking for land and one of the areas that is on my hit list let's call it is a brie and so I wanted to spend some time up there and see if I liked being up there for an extended period of time. I appreciate two nights isn't that long but you know just to get, get a feel for the place and also have time to look at a couple of other lands up there so we did that as well. So before I went, I decided by doing some research that I wanted to stay at Pedwasi Valley Resort. And that is a nice resort, although I tried to find, um, to book it online, their online system wasn't working. I was sending them DMs on Instagram, wasn't really getting very far. And so I then went back on their website, I managed to book online and we arrived there on the Saturday. So we arrived a little bit before check-in and so we went for lunch. First of all, the lunch was so nice, a really, really nice buffet. The space was amazing. They were making pounded yam right there in front of us. Uh, they had a live band. <laughs> They brought um, freshly grilled meats to the table. As you know, I'm vegetarian, so it wasn't for me. Um, and I really loved the live music. It was loud, but, you know, I don't always need to be hearing my family 24 <laughs> seven. When it was time to check in, I went up to the desk and basically they said they didn't have my booking and that their online system often fails was the exact words that they told me. And so luckily they had a room and I booked it there and then, you know, at the desk. And the price I paid was, it was £467 for two nights. So I will put the equivalents in Ghana cities and in dollars here. Um, and so that isn't cheap. And obviously this was my first ever kids family holiday so I wasn't exactly like cutting corners um, and also I really wanted to experience what it was like there. So then we went to the room which I was really pleasantly surprised by. Honestly this whole hotel is finished so nicely and the rooms didn't disappoint. They were very modern, good size and we got an extra bed added in the room for my son and then my daughter just stayed in our bed and there was a little balcony with two seats outside, a nice seating area inside if we didn't have the extra bed and um, those seats were kind of moved to the side and we were literally right beside the swimming pool. I think that was like an absolute highlight. It was about five steps from our hotel room to the swimming pool, which is obviously one of my kids, you know, highlights of the place. Another reason, um, why I chose this hotel is because I'd seen that it was really family friendly. I See found the lizards. A huge lizard. And I found the huge, the huge lizard. Where? Yeah. There. 
Where? Yeah. Right there, in front. I don't see it. I don't see it. Oh, at the wall. Come on. Let's go in the pool. And let's go in the pool. Come on then. I'm going. And that it had activities for kids. Uh, so as you can see, there is a basketball court and sort of football court there. There is a play park. I'm not the biggest fan of zoos, full stop. I don't really believe in animals in ca captivity, but obviously it was right there. My kids really wanted to go and see it, so we went. Take the black one, mm. and then the colorful ones are the people. And the monkeys, they, they you get the attention close to you when you have banana in your hand. <laughs> oh. Where did you get them from? These are a Ghana monkeys. So just from the bush? Yeah, yes, from Ghana. And these are Mona monkeys. This is cowfish, yeah? Cowfish. These are bigger than this, and these are the smallest in the family. Okay. 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 Oh, it's a way in and I'm great. Yeah, it was brought from the northern part of Ghana. And we were told that something fell at the back when it was a baby. Oh, and they can live up to one to years. Oh. Okay, this one. Okay, let me go and put it in. What is it? No. Where do they find these? In Ghana? Yes, yeah, we have public ones in Ghana. Just like wild? Yeah, but these ones, they are not common to get. You can find them in the big forest. Is it blind in one eye? Yeah, it's blind. Black is one year five months. Yeah, be strong. next day we went to see some land, much to my kids probably dismay. Yeah. About the gradient for driving down. So then we went for lunch at Hillbury, another hotel up in Abri that has a really cool infinity pool with a lovely view. That was one thing actually I was surprised about about Pedwasi Lodge because it's um, Pedwasi Valley Resort. A thing I was kind of surprised about is that there is no view. Because you're in Abri, you kind of expect a view, but there wasn't one. And we got some food there. I met my friend Jewel, who you probably have seen in previous videos. And actually, we had meant to go to Abri Botanical Gardens and we were also trying to go to Papaye Gardens, but we went up to Papaye Gardens and it was closed. It's not open yet. I think they're still 
creating it, I guess. Um, so we had to turn back from there. And we were on the way to Abri Botanical Gardens and then my son got a nosebleed. So we had to go back straight to the hotel. Um, so unfortunately we didn't make it. I was actually so gutted. And then the thing is, after that day, the next day we were going back to Accra and we had like a jam-packed schedule. Natural, you know. This is our third day here. We stayed for two nights on um, the Saturday night and Sunday night, so today's Monday, and we just woke up. We're heading over to the petting zoo, which was a request by my daughter, and then we will be heading to breakfast. <laughs> Interestingly, um, our time here, it's rained every day and but it's not like a bad thing because obviously it cools things down. That's why I wanted to start our trip in a brie so that the kids could acclimatise a bit to the weather. Why am I out of breath? Before we full on take on a cra. Um, but yes, yeah, so it's rained every day. The climate's been really nice. It's not too hot. When the sun is really blaring, then it is quite hot. But this hotel obviously has a swimming pool. And there's the kids' play park. There's the petting zoo. So there's all different things for us to be doing here. We've also taken trips outside, been to see the land. Obviously dragged the kids along to that because we all know that that's what I spend my life doing. No, no, um, no, but overall, it's been a success so far. Stop. Stop. Now we're just heading Stop. to breakfast, see what we're gonna get. Really loved it yesterday. Um, so, yeah. There's different things. Is there? There's I go back hopefully it's for longer we will get to spend more time there the places that I wanted to visit were at Bree Botanical Gardens there is also a art gallery up there and also there is a waterfall there that I really want to visit as well so they are on my hit list for next time there's also a quad biking place that I would go to not with my kids, but maybe with my husband in the future. Um, so I definitely want to go and spend more time in a brie next time that I'm there. I really like the lands that I saw um, and I'm still in the process of deciding what area. Somebody wrote a comment in my last video like, what's going on with that house? I'm like, things take time. People have told me to take my time because obviously it's a big decision and a big, um, yeah, and I guess I can't really make that decision without having all the information. So I need to do as much research as possible, see as much as possible and spend time in each area. The next video I'm going to upload is our time in Kokrobite. So from Abri, we went to Kokrobite for two nights to this incredible house. I have a whole house tour of that coming up, which I cannot wait to show you. But first of all, I'll show you the vlog of our time there. That will be the next video. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I can't wait to see you all soon. Bye.